Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you another property of logarithms. So that property looks like this. We have some number n, and we're going to raise that n to a power, and the power it's going to be a logarithm. So we're going to choose the base of this logarithm to match our base number. So in this case it's going to be n, and anytime we have some number raised to a power of a logarithm with the same base as itself, the answer is simply whatever is in the argument of the logarithm. In our case, it's an x. So let me show you some examples of how you can use this to solve some problems. So let's say that we have log base 10 of x, and we know that that equals 3. So we want to figure out what does x have to be in order for this statement to be true. Well, we can rearrange this a little bit and put it into this form. And really, the way we do that is, first we realize that if 3 is equal to this, then this whole side is also 3. So this is basically saying that 3 equals 3. Okay, so what we want to do to get it into this form is we're going to find a base here, the, bit, the n right here. And since our logarithm base is 10, then we're going to choose our number base to be 10 as well. So what I mean by that is we're going to do 10 to the third power equals 10 to the third power. So the reason why we're picking 3 is because of this side of the expression. And we just said that 3 equals all this stuff, so we can really change this side to log base 10 of x. So let me rewrite that so it's a little bit more clear here. So basically what we did is we just took a 10, and we raised it to the third power. And we were kind of tricky the way we did that because we used this statement to say, okay, well this whole side has to equal 3 for this statement to be true. So then raising this to log base 10 of x is the same thing as raising it to the third power. 10 to the third equals 10 to the third. So now that we've got this in this form, we can just use this property here and we'll find that this whole side is equal to x because of this property. So now we have x equals 10 to the third, which is simply 1,000. So if we go back to this expression, we're basically saying that log base 10 of x equals 3, and we said that x equals 1,000. And if you remember from lesson 1, the way to look at this is we say, okay, 10 raised to the third power equals 1,000. And that's true. So therefore, we solve x equals 1,000 by using this property of logarithms. So let me show you one more example here. So let's say that we have log base 3 of x, and that equals 4. So this expression is implying that this whole side equals 4. So we could really do 3 raised to the fourth power equals 3 raised to the fourth power. And because we're implying that this whole side equals 4, we can change this 4 to be log base 3 of x. So we're saying 3 to the 4 equals 3 to the 4 because both of these equal 4. 4 equals this. And now we have this in the form of our property here. And anytime we have some number raised to a logarithm that has the base of itself, then the answer is simply what's in the argument. So we have x equals 3 to the fourth, which is 3 multiplied by itself four times. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 81. So we found our x equals 81, and plugging it back into here, we're saying that log base 3 of 81 equals 4. And looking at it like I showed you in lesson 1, that basically means that 3 raised to the fourth power equals 81. So this makes sense. So therefore, we solve that x equals 81 for this expression to be true. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll... Um, continue to watch some more videos. I've got some more properties coming up with logarithms. And uh, you guys have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe.